I'm going to show you how to do a, what's called a wasp using lanyard on a safety pin. Um, you start with the small end and you do what it was basically the cobra stitch. Um, instead of using middle strands, you um, do it over the safety pin metal. Um, you're doing the cobra on the solid, not the one that moves, because that way it pins onto something. Oops. And um, then you end at this end. So I have one started here. And what you're doing is you pick one of the colors and then you consistently will use it as your loop and the other one will be your weaving um, strand. And in my case, the color I chose as my looper is yellow and my weaving strand is the green. And that, that stays the same always. And so first the loop will be on one side and then it will be on the other. So I'm starting here with a left-handed loop. The green yarn, green yarn, green lanyard is going to go over that yellow and then it's going to go under the safety pin and then up through that hole. So hopefully this shows. So it's over, the strand's over already. I'm going to go under the safety pin and up through the hole. I'm going to grab it. And then once you have it, it almost looks like the beginning of a square knot here. Then you're going to batten it down. And the tricky part is, and I've done and undone this one a couple times, so it's a little stretched out, is to keep that lanyard flat. Um, some people will use the round strand um, to make it easier. So now I'm going to pull that down. So now this yellow yarn, the looper yarn, is going to be on the right side, like that. And my weaving strand is going to go over and then under the needle. Ooh, see, it's tricky to keep hold of it. Let me start over so you'll be able to see it clean. Okay, so under the safety pin, and you can't see it, it's behind my hand over here. I'm trying to move my hand so maybe you can see what that it is, in fact. I want it to be over. I want it to come over that yellow strand over here before it comes up and un over here. And once again, pulling it from both sides so that it is tight. Now the yellow's on this side. And as, it, as the strands get shorter, you do want to make sure that it doesn't slip around over here. Uh, that green does need to stay on top of that yellow strand out here and come under the needle and out. Okay, and so you're just going to continue that way until you get up to the big eye and then loop it back and forth. It's not tied in a knot or anything, it's just looped back and forth tightly in that eye hole. And that is the basic one. Um, I will do a separate video that will show uh, how to do it with um, what's the dragonfly, which is actually putting a uh, strand on top of the needle. But it's actually easier to practice this and get that technique down without having an additional strand on top of the needle. Um, to start the dragonfly, I literally, and you always want to make sure you double checked yourself that, see that's the open end up on that side. I want to make sure that I use this side. Um, so I just start it by putting each of those through that little hole. If initially you want to make these a little longer, that's fine. Gives you a little more to tug on, that's fine. And you're just going to start, it's a little more fiddly at the beginning, but you're going to do the same thing, but it's not very well anchored at the moment. 
so you, you don't want to yank on the strand or it'll just uh, undo itself. Okay, so I'm going to come over this yarn and under and up through this hole. And when I'm doing the first couple of ones, I have to hang on to those little things that are up there. Now, if you're finding it really difficult, you could try doing a knot at the beginning. And I find that if you pull on all of them at the same time, it does anchor it down. Now, I do need to pull and adjust. See, I'm just pulling that green one down. I managed in all that fiddling to get that too long. So I'm pulling that end down so that I won't run out of the lanyard partway through my project here. Okay. Now I'm going to make the loop on that side since I did it from the right side the first time. Yarn's lanyard's going to go over. and under. It's a lot harder to see what I'm doing, but I am doing like what I showed you on the more completed one, just that you can see how loosey-goosey everything is here. And keep tugging on those two little end things. After you get the first three or four, see how I'm, I'm using all four to tighten it down. After you get the first couple of ones like that, it gets a lot simpler. Now some people I know will tape the, not tape, but pin, use the actual safety pin and safety pin this to their leg or to a strap that's attached to a table, something to give themselves a little more leverage on it. Depends on what you make, whatever makes it work for you. Let's see, now that I'm starting to get more of them, it's not nearly as, um, unorganized, I guess I'd, I'd call it. Okay, so, and on it continues. And after the first couple of ones, do, do you want to sort of take it along and tighten and, and play with it just a little bit to get it a little more, like I said, these two things up here at the top, I could have tried tying them into a knot initially, but they still, if you pull on it very hard, they will slick through. Um, um, anyway, that's, that's the basic uh, wasp. Thank you.